And what I'm going to do to celebrate my 3,000 subscribers is I'm going to have a little giveaway. Um, and uh, I'm going to start to do a challenge for you. This is going to be a hard challenge, but you're going to enjoy it, hopefully. Nicholas speaking, and welcome to this video. Nicholas speaking, and welcome to this video. Right, this is another uh, Nick's Draws episode, um, so let's have another look and uh, see what item I've got for you this time. Right, time to have another look at a product from GW that uh, basically annoys me. Okay, this time it is the Psychic Powers. So this is uh, obviously 6th edition Psychic Powers. And uh, I was looking at your pro this product here. Uh, now back in the Mirror Universe, uh, this product you know, I've got here is fantastic. It's really, really good device, but... Here um, in your universe, this is this is really annoying me because you get this box and you've got all the psychic powers in. Fine, brilliant, thank you very much. It's actually quite a nice box. It's a bit finickety to get the lid open. It looks a little bit vulnerable, but you know it works. And then you have these. Uh, you have obviously the psychic power cards, um, which are shaped. They have a funny shape to them. Uh, so they only go in one way, which can be a bit annoying. You can't just get your cards and then just like dump them in. You've got to make sure they're all the right way. Um, but putting that aside, it's actually quite reasonable. And then the Aldar Codex comes out. Okay, fair enough. Um, and they bring out some new cards. So of course, Nick being Nick, he went and bought the new cards. Fine, reasonable amount of cards there. So they go into there. Very nice indeed. Excellent. That is brilliant. Okay. Tyranid Codex comes out. And of course Nick has to go out and buy some new cards. Now what? The cards do not fit in here because there's not enough room. Assuming that you have them all the right way round, which is another issue. But there you go. They don't go in, you can't close the lid, that's so annoying. Uh, why not make a bigger box, one that can take excessive cards? I mean, most people have got more than one army, and if you're going to produce a load of different cards for each army, either produce them all with a nice little box for each set of cards, so you don't have a load of cards just lying around, or you make the original box bigger. In the Mirror Universe, we've got a set of cards. Each set of cards comes with a nice little box that they just slide into. It's nothing too fantastic, just a little piece of cardboard, you know, a cardboard sleeve, you know, something like that. Um, yeah, thanks to W, but I think you've, uh, again, the idea is good, but um, yeah, 